Hello friends, Jen Stewart here, owner of Jazz Potential and Creative Finder Sparkle. And I wanted to share a little bit about the word. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's one of those words where everyone has a different perspective. And that's the word I want to talk about because it's fascinating how one statement or one opinion or one um, occasion, one event, one something from the originator has one meaning, but can have any number of meanings to whomever is interpreting it. And I find that really fascinating because the difference can be completely the opposite scale. So I'll give you a couple of examples. A friend of mine had a brother who thought he was going to have to have surgery. And he, to fast forward, he had some things that he was doing for the last several months. And he got really good news the other day. He didn't have to have the surgery because the blockage, they couldn't find the blockage. It was, looked like it had been, it disappeared. So his sister, one, my friend, was super excited and extremely like woohoo this is fantastic news and then spoke to her other sister and they thought and she was like isn't that awful oh my golly it's so awful so she was kind of thrown back what do you mean awful well that he can't have the surgery and it's like yeah but he doesn't need the surgery so she interpreted it completely different than what the intent was and really you know it just goes to show you how varied things can be and you know somebody, the other day I had um, an incident where I had said something to someone who they completely took it completely the opposite of how I meant it and really got upset and ticked off and then didn't want to hear anything that I had to say, which I mean it kind of bothered me because I'm talk. I like to, well first of all it threw me off because I didn't expect that kind of a reaction because it was so far from what my intention was that I didn't know how to respond initially, just anyways, but I wanted to talk about it and um, this person didn't want to. So that kind of, that kind of bothered me, but at the same time, again, it really, it really goes to show you how people can totally, completely misinterpret things. So just keep that in mind, but I love to talk to people about that. I love to explore how they got there and how their way of what you know their way of thinking is and different things that might have led up to that and it's 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 quite fascinating the things that you can learn from that so one of the things i i want to keep in, in mind and, and sometimes i have to give myself the reminder is to not take things personally and that that can be a tough one right it's sometimes it's really hard um it's really hard to not take things personally however uh, when you get past that and you can and you can remember that and again it's that remembering and forgetting that I often speak about when you can remember that it makes things a lot easier it's usually something that that person has going on that makes them react in that way so just keep that in mind and yeah don't take it personally um, and you know and and sometimes the other thing I wanted to bring up on that perspective, on that is, you know, owning, you know, everybody has the right to have their own perspective. And for me, I think it is, a, it's a courtesy to listen to other people because you can learn a lot. Like I look, that's how I learn a lot about people is by listening, like actually listening and hearing what they have to say and their views on different things. And you would be amazed the information that you can pick up when you actually do listen to someone. But people don't often, a lot of times people don't want to, and that's okay too, that's their prerogative, right? Everybody's different, we all have free will, we can do whatever we want to do, whenever we want to do, and I guess the big thing would be just own it. Own it, take responsibility, and you know, if there are repercussions, or if there are consequences, or follows, or if there's, you know, anything that happens, then, you know, you just have to be prepared to, to accept that and, you know, own your responsibility and your part in it. And that's totally, and that's totally cool. We all do have free will and we just, we all have to own our stuff. I think that's, that's a really important thing. 
not to try and cast blame on others, but to blame, you know, to, to really look within because everything that is in our life is a result of our thoughts and our vibration and the energy that we're attracting. So sometimes that might not be a great place and that's a good indicator that there might need to be some adjusting that happens. And you know what? We're all perfectly, I'm, I mean, I certainly am perfectly imperfect. Holy smokes. I, try, I, I work on learning something new every single day because it's, it's important and it's something new about myself. <laughs> so what does that tell you? It's a never-ending journey, right? And I love it. It's, it's fun. And sometimes I'm very surprised. Other times not so much, but a lot of times I'm surprised. Anyway, I'm rambling now, but just remember, you know, everyone has a different perspective. We all have free will. Everyone's entitled to their opinion and to their perspective. Um, I would encourage you not to make someone else feel badly about theirs just because it isn't, you know, in alignment with yours. Everybody is entitled to have that. So don't make anyone feel badly about that. And, you know, really consider listening to other people because that's, I think, that's a really important part of communication and relationships and trust and you know being able being able to communicate without the fear of somebody shutting down or turning off you know so anyways that's a good thing and just remember own your stuff own it and you have free will to do whatever the heck that you choose just remember to take responsibility and go out and do something that makes you sparkle every single day bye for now friends